At the other end of the pitch, how much longer will we have to wait to see Neymar and Messi? It's a similar explanation, really. They were not there tonight because it's been it's, this game came too early. They they're not they're not fit or fit enough, I think, for Pochettino to take any risk with them. Messi had the weekend off. He's gone back to Barcelona with his family, for example, uh, and and they they haven't been training long enough. I think next weekend away at Reims on the Sunday gives them a bit more time to train, and I, I would expect them to be in the squad unless PSG said, listen, it's better if you start at home, which would be after the international break, and give him his debut to Messi that is uh, for the game in September at the Parc des Princes and not away at Reims next weekend. So it'd be interesting to see, but I, I do think they both be in the squad for the Reims game next weekend. Ali, what happens, what changes when those two come back into this PSG side? <laughs> OK, changes dramatically given the fact that this is perhaps the best front three that we have seen, I don't know, the last 20 years or so. I, it's, uh, it's amazing to think that these three players will be together on the field at the same time. Now, <laughs> if indeed this team is going to achieve the things that they want to achieve, I know you're going to get productivity out of this front three. And everybody knows that. And, and they're too good. Individually, they're too good. And I assume that together they're going to play well. What happens behind this front three is what matters to PSG. Today, the balance of the team through the midfield, not good enough. Defending, too much time and space on the ball. Tight areas defending, not good enough. Too much time and space in the ball. And we're talking about breasts. We're not talking about top quality opposition here. And yet, they created a whole bunch of chances against PSG. So I know what PSG, or at least I have an idea as to what PSG can be with Lionel Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe. Mbappe stretching the field. Neymar being the, being the guy who's able to dribble out of tight areas. And then Lionel Messi being the guy who orchestrates the offense because of the vision and hit the quality of his passing. And if you commit a lot of numbers to Neymar, then Messi's open. If you commit a lot of numbers to Messi, then Mbappe is open. It's impossible to account for all three of them. So the goals are going to come, and they're going to come in bunches. What happens behind this front three is really what will determine the success of PSG. And do you have concerns about that, Frank, this season? What happens behind the front three at PSG? Of course. And I've had, had concerns about that, you know, for... for for years, because that's been the main problem uh, that uh, Chelsea, uh, that Paris Saint-Germain has been facing. Sorry, uh, that's that's the main concern because they never found the the midfield, the defensive midfielder that I'm expecting uh, Paris Saint-Germain could get. Somebody like uh, I would say Anderson, uh, Kimmich, N'Golo Kanté, Casemiro, those players that will make the difference. We are like like real warriors, these fighter, fighters working hard for the others. We, we call them the water carrier. The, 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 the pl player you don't see, they're in the shade, but it's so important. And we have the, we have the, the lights, we have uh, the glamorous with Paris Saint-Germain, but we don't have the effective. The effectiveness we are looking for, that's the main concern that I have. And today again, and I completely agree with Ali, we know that the three at front is going to be proactive, but Today, again, we don't have the balance. Verratti, Vinaldum, and Herrera, maybe, are not the player that I'm looking for in the middle of, of the park. And that's going to be crucial for them to fight. And the only one who can be, if we, can, if we look at the squad, who can be that player, can be the one who is not a midfielder, he's a defender. It's going to be a Marquinhos. And that's why I have a concern, uh, not against Brest, not against Strasbourg, where they considered to the two games Two goals, but in Champions League, of course. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.